Hello, love. <laughs> Hi, darling. How are you? Good to see you. Wow. So good to see you. I had to take the mask off my head. I had to run, get some organic seeds. <laughs> We're just going to hold silence for a little bit to start our space. Okay. Because we're in a very sacred little temple here. It may not look like it. It does to me. I've invited several friends and had a few people call. You, love. We have the horses here just oh, holding hi, space love. and inviting us to enter really reverently right now. Yes. And as we're out trying to get home so that I can get in my still spot okay. Thank that you. I wanted to join and I'll oh. mute myself, but I wanted to go ahead and get logged yeah. in because usually I'm at the barn and time passes without me being here, you know? So I just wanted to go ahead and log in in this minute. Hello, beautiful. I see over your shoulder. We'll have time to say our hellos, I promise. Yes, I'm going to mute. As a matter of fact, we are saying our hellos. There's a way that the animals and nature invite us to say hello. Mm -hmm. That's nonverbal. Okay. I feel that it's a rare moment for us to follow suit. Sometimes we miss these moments if we're speaking. It's hard to speak and tune into portals at the same time. I'm not good at it, so I just Sorry. need your help at holding a space where there is a nonverbal exchange that is held as important mm -hmm. as the way we usually say hello to everybody. And there's a different way we can try and see what it feels like just to look around, gaze at each other silently. And it's true, neither is better than the other, but saying hello in this nonverbal way by just gazing and feeling yourself here, feeling yourself here as fully as this being behind me is feeling herself here. And trust that you are so seen and so felt and so known for who you are. So welcome 
to the sacred portal of you and of we and of all that is. We're coming together at a very auspicious moment, which is the only moment there is, which is right now. Again and again. My name is Sabina, for those of you I haven't met. And I'm here just as part of this one field, nothing more, nothing less. And I'm learning right here and now with all of you. about who we are. But thank you so for being here. This is the um, gathering that we offer weekly and it's my deepest hope that you'll join us every week during these times where we really need one another. And when I say that you can participate for free and enter into the space, if you do not have $17 a month to give, it is okay. It's only your yes that's needed and your resonance. So do consider coming back for more. Today, I checked in with our private group space and asked, what would you like to tune into? There's so much we could focus on. And there was a consensus that kind of pulsed to experience home, what that is, and the safety of home, the shelter of home. So I tuned deeply into this because it is a very personal experience for me to feel not at home in this world. That's much more familiar to me than the frequency of home. And that's a great place to begin And all of nature actually showed that they're much more familiar with the vibration of home. And they said, come home, come home to surrender. So that is the frequency that all of these transmissions, which will flow, have been birthed from. But let's just begin with a breath. A 
and let that breath just welcome yourself fully here. As you breathe in a breath that is simple. And feel the nourishment of welcome. And then that overflows out to what appear as many here. And we're joined by innumerable beings, seen and unseen. And it's always a, a beautiful way to begin is to invoke, invoke these beings. And if you feel to unmute yourself, we can all as one voice just begin invoking Beings of nature, human, animal, plant, mineral, elements, cosmic bodies. Just invoke them into the space. Let's do that just unabashedly. Just unmute yourself and just let it flow. Or, or don't unmute yourself and let it flow. Calling in all humans who are here at this time. Simon. The Equine Collective. Simon. We will call the herd of light that extends mm -hmm. beyond insects. what we can see here as Khalil, yeah. Teddy, Mycelium, Oliver, Yoshi. Yeah. Water. Uh, Omar. The sun. Red. Earth. We call in the feline. Boy. Boy. Moon. Pebble. Majestic. Majestic, join us. Destin. Call in the coronavirus. And all the unseen oh, world and virus and microscopic beings. Birds, woodpecker. Call in the insects, the forest yeah. beings, underground beings, the crystals. Yes. The arctic beings. The bovines. All the beings. Yeah. In Australia, in the rainforest. The dragonflies. The trees. The plants. The flowers. The clover. Call in the, the soil. Bean. The earth. The, the honeybees. Mother Gaia. And all the planetary bodies, and sun, my baby sister, and water, and Colin, and Ruby, and William, and Galen, streams of water, Bella. babbling brooks, and waterfalls, and cleansing. We call in. The snakes and reptiles, the oceanic beings, Morna. the bees, we call in the galaxies, Jupiter, and all the beings of light, seen and unseen. Mother of all, Holly. We call in the tiniest mice and rodents. All beings. Ones, dragonflies, butterflies, moths. Spiders. Unweave that web. And all of those 
animals who have shared the most intimate breath with us. I'm calling pollinators. All the pollinators, we need you now. And call in the tiniest unweaving the web. Tiniest amoeba. Jellyfish. The magma. And all the angelic beings and beings of the way. Inside the fire, the fire, transmute fire. Mm. Just feel into the space now. A limitless space that you are part of, always. Feel the immense support. Allow yourself to be held. Just breath by breath. We thank all of these beings as one being, as one heart. One light, many, many, multitudinous rays. And we send out this intention of gratitude and welcome on the breath. So a breath again now, feeling into the anchor of yourself as part of all. And feeling the circulation of breath, touching all. Being touched and nourished by all. Just for a moment, contemplate bringing in a nature being that can really help you, support you in opening to these transmissions so that they're not words that go through pathways of the brain so that they can be portals. In between the words and what the words were birthed upon, co-created by us all. Just invite in a nature being to open with you, to entrain you, to listening through the soles of your feet, through your wings, through your gills. Through your tusks and antennas, through your hooves. through the one heart of your beingness. And may these transmissions serve to nourish you, which nourishes all. So the first 
transmission is from jellyfish. So just for a moment, let's bring jellyfish right here, nearer than near. As part of our own body and soul. Surrender is our state of being. It is ultimate transparency. It is the fullest dissolution of the illusion of control. It is the offering of individual power to the all-encompassing embrace of love. It is the offering of individual power to the all-encompassing embrace of love. It is the offering of rigid mental knowing into the fluidity of in the moment, direct unknowing. It is the offering of rigid mental knowing into the fluidity of in the moment, direct unknowing. Surrender is the most powerfully loving action of dropping fear into the ever-present currents of love. It is allowing the mental tributaries of I think I am to dissolve into the embodied ocean of I am that I am. Surrender is the allowing of mental tributaries of I think I am to dissolve into the embodied ocean of I am that I am. It is allowing the lens of projected pasts and futures to flow back into the clear stream of here and now. It is here and now that you will realize that you know how to breathe underwater in the depths of surrender. So feeling into this ocean of surrender. within a notion of I am that I am that is so vast you can offer the confines of I think I am as an offering of love into these waters. You can offer I know into these waters of the unknown. You can offer fear into this ocean of love, this act of surrender, a powerful act of love.
an eagle came forth. So let's invite eagle here in the center of our limitless circle. We simply entrain to the sky. We simply entrain to the sky, to the vast space holding us, lifting us, soaring us. We are devoid of any sense of doing, for we simply offer our whole being to the sky, to the air, to the boundless, intelligent, sentient space that flies us home. We simply entrain to the sky, to the air, to the vast space holding us, lifting us, soaring us. We're devoid of any sense of doing for we simply offer our whole being to the sky, to the air, to the boundless, intelligent, sentient space that flies us home. So for a moment now, let's open our wingspan and feel the air, the sentience, in the very atmosphere. Just with the breath, allow a moment to feel held by the vastest sentient sky. With that conviction of faith, of ego, that you are being flown home. on wings of surrender. Just allowing every cell to feel that for a moment. And all of nature Consciousness came forth to say, why is it easy to entrain to our vibration? Why is it so easy for you to entrain to our vibration? Why does it feel so easy to surrender so fully when you're in our presence? It's because the well of deep love and complete trust within you emerges to meet us and creates alchemy instantly you have uncovered your truest state the state of nature you are nature Love and trust birth surrender. A love that transcends separateness. A surrender that is your ever present home. Why, why is it so easy? to entrain to our vibration, to surrender so fully when in our presence.
It is because the well of deep love and complete heart trust within you emerges to meet us and creates instant alchemy. Instantly you have uncovered your truest state, the state of nature. You are nature. Love and trust, birth, surrender. A love that transcends separateness. A surrender that is your ever present home. Let's just breathe in silence for a moment. Feeling so held by this shared silence. In a message from our beloved horse, Travis. Travis is often alone, but completely not separate from the herd, but physically, socially distancing. <laughs> He's very wise. And one day I looked over to find Travis and don't know if you've ever seen a horse flat out on the ground. They look really like they're not alive. Like their body has shut down. And their body has shut down, in fact. He's still alive. And he's still alive. But in the moment when he was lying there, it was as if he were not. And this transmission came through. Lay down, lay down dead upon the earth. Head in the dust, body becoming dirt. Let the mind, now part of the ground, transform thoughts into compost. Let all mental pathways disintegrate just for a moment. melt away. Allow yourself to feel completely held in this melting for you truly, truly are completely held. And when you arise and shake off the dream, through the birth canal of surrender, you are reborn. Die into rebirth through the birth canal of surrender. So let's feel that. 
Feel yourself as if laying down. Flat on the earth, Mother Earth beneath you. Your head resting, converging hair, skin, and soil. Feel the gravity, which is love, pulling thoughts out of your head. Joyfully composting, recycling that life force. into fertilizer for Mother Earth. Melting into her love. And when you feel to get up, Consciously shaking off the dream. Just surrendering to what is there. Reborn. As you, in that holy moment, here and now. And from Teddy, another beautiful horse being here. This is Yoshi behind me. Beautiful beings, says Teddy. Beautiful beings, you must ground yourself in surrender. Ground yourself in surrender. Ground yourself in the portal of surrender, the navel of the universe, the womb of existence. Go through your inner navel center. Through the energetic umbilical cord of infinity. And breathe from there. Feel the groundedness of being anchored to all that is. Feel the inherent surrender to the vast glory of isness, which most simply put is love. You must ground yourself in surrender. Ground yourself in the portal of surrender, the navel of the universe the womb of existence. Go through your inner navel center, through the energetic 
umbilical cord of infinity and breathe from there. So let's do that together. Dropping down, lowering the sense of gravity. Breathing deeply into the belly center. Feeling that energetic umbilical cord to all that is. Letting it ground you. into fuller embodiment. Into a womb of surrender. Into the womb of existence. Which is not outside of yourself. and breathe. Feel this inherent vastness of isness, which is love. And breathe. And our last message, our last transmission is from Khalil. The eye of the needle, the present moment is the eye of the needle. The present moment is the eye of the needle. To enter fully, you must surrender everything, all thought streams, labels, stories, ideas, narration. Drop everything to enter into the present timeless moment. Surrender is your true nature. The simple, open presence of being fully here, of being lifted across the eye of the needled threshold of now. The eye of the needle, the present moment is the eye of the needle to fully Enter, you must surrender everything. All thought streams, labels, stories, ideas, narration. Drop everything to enter into the present, timeless moment. Here, now. Surrender is your true nature. The simple, open presence of being fully here. Of being lifted across the eye of the needle threshold of now. Lifted across. So we breathe in and out this moment.
as a sacred act of love. As a coming home again and again. Sending the dance of all of these transmissions that have now been amplified through your being, sending them out upon the breath as a gift, as an offering to the whole. And again, we'll bathe in silence now for a moment. A timeless moment. Just meeting yourself the way you meet nature. For that's who you are. Hello, Ted. Goodbye, Ted. And this is a part of our dance now where you can feel free to see if there's anything you would like to say into this, this space, the freedom to just allow if there's anything that would like to be voiced, just unmute yourself perhaps if you feel to say your name. And yes, just allow an offering, a holding, something that you would like held at this time or any inspiration maybe. That was birth, is birthing. Just feel free. It, it is going to be recorded. So I do want to um, let you know that it will be shared with resonant hearts. So if you are comfortable with that, then feel free to speak because editing it out is a little tricky. But if we see this field as one heart, then often what we are speaking is for many. Thank you. Thank you. Who is this? Oh, Sabrina. It's Kathy. It's Kathy. Hello, Kathy. Hello. Hello, my beautiful, my love, and my Bill is sitting beside me. Oh. And we enjoyed this so much. I wanted to tell you from another torchbearer, from another co-traveler, that I often feel not at home. And um, the surrender to feeling at home, true love, wherever you are in this vast universe is so important. Mm. Thank you for the grounding. Thank you for the messages. Thank you for the release and the surrender 
to surrender. Ooh, <laughs> I like that. Well, I loved it. And I was supposed to be here today with my love. Mm. And as I prepare to go out to the barn, where I usually am at this time, mm. I just wanted to send my love to all. Mm. During this time, may we all feel at home. Mm. Mm. And the blessings mm. of home and unity, mm. peace, healing, prosperity of spirit because I believe that prosperity of spirit and soul and heart is way more than anything can touch yeah. so I wish you a prosperous week mm. spiritually emotionally every which way <laughs> I love you and peace we and blessings you. to you all. Okay. I'm we, feel, we feel your blessings and thank you, Bill, for being here too. Let's just take a moment and breathe in, meet this offering fully from Kathy. Would anyone else like to share? Feel free. In French, my name, first name was pronounced Joie. And many are familiar with the phrase joie de vivre. Yeah. Joy life. And joy is my birthright. Mm. And I wish today everyone the joy of surrender. Mm. Or that is my joy when I surrender. You're a courageous one. Thank you, Joelle. Thank all of us. Yes. Thank us all. Yes. <laughs> and let's take a moment to send the intention from Joelle out especially into the environment that she is living in, where there are many in need of amplifying joy and amplifying the feeling of home, the vibration within. We just breathe this out to you, Joa, and all of your community and beyond. Thank you. Yeah. Namaste. Namaste. Thank you. And we breathe together again, receiving this offering into this group space. Breathing out this offering. Would anyone else like to share? Although your silence is heard as well. 
palpably so. This is Michael. Hello, Michael. Hello. I'm, I'm, we are living in such a, a wonderful time. Maybe come a little closer to the mic. Can't quite hear you. Okay. We're living in a wonderful time right now. Mm. Where we have this artificial extension of thinking. And all around us, spring. Life is just bursting out of all nature is rejoicing as it always does. So we have this artificial extension of winter that you know we're sort of it's becoming more and more clear that there are in a way two worlds and there's the world that we make up for that thinking. And then there's nature. And one of them is not real. And the one that is real just keeps coming back like spring. Every year, every day. And we always have a choice every day. We can choose which world we want to live in. <laughs> and so great to have this choice so graphically in front of us. So plain in front of us. <laughs> Thank you. Beloved Michael, Karen, for being here. <laughs> yes, it's a very graphic choice. There's no wrong choice either. That's really a great freedom too. Yeah, I think there's only one choice. But it's up to us when we make it. Yeah. Hmm. Yes, well, all paths eventually lead to home. <laughs> Bless you. Let's breathe in this offering of our wise kindred. Mm. Mm. This is Travis behind me. I love his transmission. I don't know if you can see behind him, there's a powwow of three. Mm. 
Would anyone else like to make an offering with your voice? Feel free. Hello, sis. Oh, Sonali, Sonali. Bless your heart. It's, it's a sacred, auspicious hour there in India. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me here. And yes, the message that uh, came from Travis, it was like the vision that, that came into my head, I was buried in deep inside the ground. And I felt the instant shift, a reboot in my entire body. Uh, that message was so profound and so grounding. Thank you so much for that. Oh, Sonali. Thank you for allowing. It felt so loved. And at first, when I saw myself lying on the ground, I did feel, oh, okay, I'm doing something which I haven't done since years. And like my body did throw up the thought that what are you doing? I mean, what is it that you're doing? That we are being stopped to do all these things a lot of times. So it took me a while to rest myself on the ground. And when I rested, I felt the love, the mother earth soaking me deep inside her love. And I was feeling drawn inside the ground and to the to the limit that I felt myself covered with a layer of mud. And uh, it was a very beautiful sight inside. The crystals, the earthworms, and it felt so, so home there. I felt so deeply loved and nourished. Complete reboot has happened, I could say. He loves you so much, Sonali. So much love. <laughs> He's feeling a little bit playful. Yeah. He's feeling the joy of your release, I think. <laughs> and along with that, uh, I received a transmission from the ship from the ship consciousness, and I would like to share that. Uh, I have written that in my notes. Speak very slowly and loudly so we can really tune in. Yes. yes. <laughs> okay. Yes. So the message that came through is like uh, the consciousness of sheep telling us that we are often misunderstood as we fear. And because of the fear, we tend to live in the flocks and follow each other blindly. But the truth is, it's all about the power of surrender, which we are aware of. We trust in the collective and in our collective power, we surrender. We trust that we will be led to our homes. The support, the leader and everything that is needed to get us back to home will be arranged by the universe. And all that we offer is trust and surrender, and we are always guided back to our homes. Surrender is actually a great power that takes us to the ultimate freedom. And our flock, living in the flock, and uh, is actually the power of our surrender that we offer to the universe. And we are always led to home. Wow. Wow. Thank you, Sonali and sheep being the humility of such love, of surrender to being a part of the flock. Thank you. <laughs> we breathe in this offering. Thank you. And out. Thank you.
I would like to add just for a moment, if I may. Of course. Who is this? Let me just look. This is Joy. Joa. Ah, uh, Joa, yes. The hand over the heart is a very tra <clears throat> traditional, indigenous, and ancient way of greeting people when you have your hand on your heart and then you send it out. Ah, uh, beautiful. Beautiful. Perhaps at the end of the gathering, we can close right. with that ancient. Yeah, I was very moved movement. to do this with your, I don't know your name. I'm sorry, my eyes are not working today to read. Sonali. Sonali, thank you. Your hand on your heart reminded me of that so much. Thank you thank for your you. love. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Lynn, did you want to say something? Oh my. <laughs> um, okay, I will go for it. Oh, great. I want to surrender to speaking as the consciousness is true in me instead of being so logically. So it might not come out so gracefully. <laughs> oh, please, it's, it's all grace. I'm just feeling what's true within me. Is that we're really happy. That the life that flows through us is really happy and it loves you and it loves me and it loves being on this call and it loves all these people that I don't know. And it's just free and bouncy and rolly. <laughs> and no matter what's going on, we are still free. And I mean no matter, I really mean like no matter what, what, what. That's like the fabric of what we are. <laughs> and it is funny. <laughs> I guess the main thing I wanted to say is that I love you and deep down I know you love me <laughs> okay that's it oh. <laughs> that is truth if I ever heard it Yeah, no matter, and I mean no matter what, 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 we can quote you on that. I love you. Can I say something? I wondered if I could say something, Sabina. Oh, please, who is this? And just a little bit louder, because it's starting to pour here, and I'm gonna mute myself. It's Deborah.
I left my home many years ago, and by that I mean not a physical residence, but the home with God. I left it when I was a little girl, about seven. That's also when I fell in love with all animals. And I've never found a way to feel like I deserve to be home again. But I have something to say. I feel like I can make a difference. I feel like I can reach people by telling a story. But I need to be home first with God. And I haven't known how to get there. Just haven't known, haven't felt like I deserved it. Felt like I've been in the cage, like the animals I love so very much. Feel like I fail all the time. But I so deeply want to be home with God again. So as I listen to the messages that came through today, it helped me just to find a way to begin that journey back. I'm just starting, but I just wanted to say thank you for helping me find the path again. Thank you to Jellyfish. Thank you to Travis. To Teddy. And I can't remember, there was a someone else. I just wanted to thank you to every single being here that offered, to all the lovely people that spoke, that helped me feel like I belong. I thank you. And to Sabina, I thank you and God bless you for what you do and for the way you live and for making me feel like I can be part of this group. I just wanted to say that. Thank you. Travis is nuzzling you. He's nuzzling you so, oh, so passionately. I am too. We all are nuzzling you. I think he's beautiful. I think he's just so beautiful. I hope he knows that. I hope he can yeah. feel it. Yes, yes, he feels it. Believe me. Right now. We're not going to categorize his personality too much, but let's just say he does have a lot of Eeyore in him. And nobility. And he says, I am neither, I am both. I am, I am, I am. Ah, oh, thank you for being here, Deborah. You're all of our voices. Let's breathe in this courageous offering from our kindred nuzzler. Add something more here. I'm just feeling this from Travis. Is this Sonali? Yes. yes. 
Say it again, love. Perhaps. I am just feeling this coming from Travis. Yes. There is a strong calling that he with his transmission has made us very clear that the home is nowhere but it's inside our own self. The home is nowhere outside. The moment we stop connecting and looking for the home outside, we get to connect with our roots and that's where we ground. The matrix that we always keep talking about is actually nowhere outside of us. The matrix is also inside us. It's only the total of all the choices that we can think of. Matrix is only the total of all the choices that we can think of. And from where we think, from where we feel is our own heart space, our own heart center. The home is right inside us. And when we connect with our own heart space, we feel the comfort of being held and greeted back into our own home. And we feel so deeply connected and so good, so happy, so blissful, just by knowing that we have met our own space, the home that we were searching for outside. It's right here, right here. It's nowhere outside. And that's what is the power of Travis. He knows this. He knows that he doesn't have to look outside. He only has to connect inside to transmit any message to anyone who is willing to receive it. Every being is residing here. Every creation is residing here. Thank you. Thank you. Deborah, this is for you as well. I felt this message when Deborah was speaking up that she never had to feel anything low. Any not the low is not the right word. Anything. You never have to feel it. You every time you want to feel that. You are in home, you are back in connection with the God. Just feel your heart space and you are right there, instantly connected with your God and instantly connected and back in your home right away. I feel us all experiencing this more and more and more. Thank you, Jody, for being here. I don't know if you can hear Travis's breathing. It's so beautiful. I want you to hear it. It's like the ocean. <laughs> Would anyone else like to share? Feel free, feel free, feel free. Beloveds, it's Risha here. Can you hear me? Oh, Risha, we can hear you. Okay. So good to this, see you. Thank you. This message has been coming since the beginning, and it and it feels like I really did want to share it. And what it is really is just my reflection back of the beautiful uh, transmissions that we were given today. Um, reflecting it back to the, the combined company here right now. Uh, when you first spoke about home, I thought, I had the thought, well, have I ever really felt at home? 
and I got a message about that, and it was that um, <clears throat> well, if I'm if I'm thinking about it, I'm probably not exactly in that space yet. If I'm wondering, and then this word simplicity came. There's a certain simplicity and. The other beautiful transmission that came through that wasn't mentioned again was ego. And I, as we found ourselves flying with ego, there was this simplicity. And all of a sudden I was, I was home. Like I was in, I was there. It was a neutral kind of space, but it was also, there was a simplicity about it. And then Eagle said, well, do you wonder how it's so simple to get in contact, you know, into this flow with nature, into your home? And what he said was, you have within you this deep well of wanting to connect. It's natural. It's there. All you have to do is just let it be and, and what i wanted to reflect back was what an assurance that was for me it's right there and it's how i am it's what i am and the simplicity of it um, that it is possible and, <laughs> and it feels like it's getting more more possible all the time <laughs> Thank you, Risha. Bless your heart. Thank you for that amplified offering on eagle wings. Hmm. Well, beloved, what is there to say? You know, welcome home. <laughs> welcome home. Let's just take a breath of simplicity. We are here and we are many of us being ordered now to stay at home. What a blessing. We send the convergence of our deepest intention, the convergence of each heart here into one bouquet. Send this out as a gift to the whole. There are so many things I'd like to share now that I finally jumped in here. <laughs> <laughs> we have the group space to do that. Um, and well, you're yeah. all welcome. But let's close with some silence and just percolate. May I say just one thing? Of that course. 
question before that. And it's about home. <clears throat> Part of my journey in this life has been without a home. People call it homelessness. And when I kept asking God, why is this happening? Why, why can't I be home, have a home? And the answer was, where is your home? Mm. Consistently, year after year, where is your home? And for me, the answer was right here. Yeah. We carry it with us. <laughs> what an embodied journey. Thank you, Joy. Thank let's you. End, let's end with our hand if you feel to. I feel to place my hand on my heart to you all. Where we meet. So much love to you all and gratitude and awe <laughs> until we meet again. <laughs> Bless. feel like you leave this video on. I keep watching them all day. <laughs> yes. Thank you to Travis. Teddy. Khalil. Taz and Yoshi, and all the unseen beings.
release, release. Hmm. Indication to me, time for sleep. <laughs> what love? <laughs> I love you so much. Thank you. I for love me. you so much. <laughs> right. Sleep well. Very well. <laughs> Love to India, Mother India. Love to you all. Thanks. And see you soon. <laughs>